So, boys, <laughs> for yourself, guys, I don't know how you're feeling about this, but what I did notice, how about our boy Ricochet? You know what I mean? Our boy Ricochet this week, and I can't believe it, man. He wants to put in his notice of WWE to go somewhere else. I don't know where he wants to go. I don't know where he thinks the grass is green on the other side. But this guy decides he wants to up and leave. And what did they have him do? They had Bron Breaker power slam him through a car. Which was insane. 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 I'm putting my shirt back on because we're not getting that super sticker. Um, Amazing. It was awesome. I loved it. I need Scott Steiner promos out of Bron Breaker every week, please. Like, I need that in my fucking life. Bro, why Bron are you Breaker. Coming to show? Look, mate, I'm, I'm, I, I can, I have the incredible uh, ability to be two places at once because I am definitely not a mark. Oh, so, okay. yeah, yeah. But anyway. yes, as we we're saying, I need Scott Steiner style promos from TNA out of Scott out of Bron Breaker for the next ten years, and right. I will easily die a happy man. I need some Steiner in my life, and I'm going to live through Bron Breaker to get it. He's so good, dude. He's so good, yeah. like. It just, I'd like, I haven't seen it in a while. Um, like, there was someone like that who's literally just going through all of the, uh, like, just things like, you know, he uh, is getting that treatment, kind of Goldberg treatment, and then it doesn't really happen much on TV anymore, and I'm just happy to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, mate, and hats off to like, the boys who've been working too. Like, Ricochet's done an amazing job. Dragon off did mm. an amazing job. Mm. Just making this bloke look like a fucking animal 100 yeah. and like, the guy is so quick he's so agile like for a guy that's what six two at least 250, <laughs> 250. <laughs> did it happen on that couch by any chance or that couch? <laughs> <laughs> or was there any of these fine young gentlemen behind me <laughs> courtesy of goldstein i've got myself some lovely maids <laughs> Cartel's going stronger than ever, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Donald Trump. The, the old Goldie. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's um he's one of those talents where it's like, oh man, like uh you don't get that very often. It's not just uh it's not just like he's all body and nothing either. Like he's yeah. purely one of the best athletes I've ever seen. And, like, and one thing WWE can do is they can hang their hat on him and say he is homegrown talent. Mm. Right. I never wrestled the Indies, got dra um, drafted to NXT, um, and mate, trained in the Performance Center, learned from the best in the Performance Center, smashed it in NXT, now look what he's doing on Raw. Right. The guy's machine. Mm. There's only up. Yeah. I honestly... I look at a guy like that and I'm like, man, like the way he runs the ropes in general, like for people to get posts on them about running the ropes is just like, it's, it's unheard of, I think for the most mm. part, like, and yeah, they've really the made, ring ring move. yeah, I know he makes the ring move. He made the fucking ring move. Mm. And that's not like a shitty, like, that's like a shitty random, like, you know, local 14 foot or 16 foot, 18 foot ring. That's like a WWE ring as well. That's, like, that's set up that's by people sick. that do it as a full-time job, not set up yeah. by people that are watching people actually set it up in some piece mm. of device. That's exactly. crazy. Mate. It's crazy. He's, uh, yeah. No, I, I don't know. It's one of those things where they push these guys to, to like, they push the guys to the moon. Hopefully it pays off well for them. Like, because they've put a big investment in him, but I don't see them ever losing him. Like, you think he's one of those guys that's always going to sort of stick around in the fold? Like, he's so home ground grown, like you said. Mm. Yeah, and he's, he's got the best veteran in Scott Steiner in his ear that will never, will only tell him the right things to say and do. So he's got yeah. all the tools. Yeah, what I don't like though, like the Steiner name. Like, I, I feel like he should be rocking it. You know what I mean? That's what I always thought about it. Like. More than anything, I'm like, you got a name like that, a name brand like that. Why wouldn't you like rock that? <clears throat> yeah, like, it, don't get me wrong, it, it would be cool to have him as Bronson Stein. Um, my glasses, I was like, <laughs> um, like, it would be cool to have him in, in there as Bronson Steiner. Um, but let's be yeah, honest, what on on yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just fucking, I'm just working it, mate. 
Yeah, no, I think you should have the Steiner name too, bro. But whatever. Like, it is what it is. Like, it's fucking... Uh, I don't know. I think they want they want exclusive IP, right? They don't want to have, like, a real name there sometimes. And it's weird. That's just the way they want to roll with things. But if well, I was Ricochet, like, if uh, honestly... Oh, sorry, real quick. If I was Ricochet, I would... And I was leaving the company, like, as opposing he said he would, I would fucking go through a car windshield too. That's what you meant to do. You're meant to put people over. People are like, oh, they buried Ricochet. It's like, why wouldn't they? Oh, man. And you know what? It doesn't matter what Ricochet does. Like, he's going to be over no matter what he do, where he goes. Yeah. Like, Nothing. the guy, he, ooze, he oozes charisma. Like, he might not have the greatest promo going around, but he's got that presence. So when he walks through, the crowd love him. Then he gets in the ring. And it just goes from here to here. So, talking about from here to here. Yeah, my hand. <laughs> here to there. Uh, 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 <laughs> Getting used like, to this AI stuff. <laughs> I just don't get the motivation to go anywhere else, but WWE at the moment, like I don't get it. Look, I think because the first time in a long time, they're doing such a good fucking job. Yeah, that it's not cool to turn around and be that cunt that's like, oh, I don't watch it. I'm watching all friends wrestling, or I'm watching mm. fucking Jungle Cuck in New Japan, or I'm watching the local fucking cunt down the dealership fucking go through a window and get lit on fire and shit. It's like they're doing such a good job that the, you're starting to realize how fucking stupid the rest of these cunts are. Mm. 